This here is one of the most badass motorcycles from the brand, one of the priciest and one of the most gorgeous creations from Ducati. This year he will reach the age of 25, but he is still very appealing to such an extent that collectors are prepared to pay a minimum of $150,000 for one of the 67 duplicates. You probably haven't heard of this model before because it's one of the rarest racing motorcycles from the company and you might not know about it simply because it was only popular in the 90s European Super Mono series. But how did he perform? The Ducati Supermono was designed for the European Supermono series where most racers used powerful single-cylinder engines. The Italian's engine was developed from scratch. The goal was to dominate in the Supermono series and similar competitions. And this goal was achieved without any major difficulties. The Ducati Supermono motorcycle had a dry weight of 118 kilograms and a maximum power of up to 75 horsepower in later versions. Reminder, single cylinder with displacement of 572 cc. Question, how did engineers extract such power, surpassing other manufacturers' developments? Impressive feat considering the small size of the engine. No risk of braking, no loss of resources while preserving engine characteristics balance is crucial. The Italians did it in their own way, as they always do. Taking the 888 V-Twin as a foundation through some simple yet genius manipulations, they've created one of the most fascinating engines in the industry. Engineers removed top cylinder, left connecting rod, secured loosely. In simpler terms, they created a balancer of some sort. This solution allowed to maintain the balance, peak performance and maximum power inherent to V-Twin. And essentially this is still the same old thing, but in fact we have an incredibly balanced and slick single that left competitors behind. The new engine also inherited liquid cooling and a four-valve head with a dual desmodromic camshaft from the Desmoc Vatra. Additionally, the Weber electronic injection offered immediate response to the throttle, particularly in the 7 to 11,000 RPM range, where the Borghi balancer demonstrated its value. Overall, this balancer was the main advantage because most single barrels were already starting to fade at 6,000. Superman was starting to catch his breath at this speed, breathing steadily up to a record-breaking 11,000. An important achievement for Massimo was also the motorcycle's weight. We achieved record weight by extensively using composite materials in the body kit production. The fairing, gas tank, rear frame and instrument housings were constructed using carbon fiber material. Today, composite materials don't surprise anyone, but in 1993 it was a really revolutionary solution. The chain cover and steering yoke were made of magnesium, which also helped reduce unnecessary weight. Ducati Super Mono Suspension, classic style, known for frame, steel gauge, signature Ducati suspension and frame design. We took the front fork from a Ducati 888 Corsa. In turn, Pieretta Blanc and Claudio Dominicali created such a groundbreaking design for their time that a quarter of a century later it doesn't look old but on the contrary, very attractive. And with all the factors combined, Ducati ended up with a really fast and easy to handle machine. The maximum speed was approaching 230 km per h and the quarter mile motorcycle was flying by in 11.4 seconds, which is simply amazing for a single cylinder engine. The full list of victories of this bike will be very long, but among the main achievements of the first year, we can mention first place in the European Championship, first place in the overall standings of the Super Mono Constructors Cup, and first place in the overall standings of the Italian and Swiss champs. Well, the Ducati Supermoto was supposed to have a street version, you know? Even the engine had a mounting for an electric starter, but something went wrong and the epic event didn't happen. The Ducati bosses didn't want to risk and invested in an unusual motorcycle. The popularity of the Supermona series declined by the early 2000s and Ducati lost interest in Supermona. But still, this does not cancel the fact that the Supermona is one of the greatest racing motorcycles from Ducati, having won all possible titles in a short period of time, rightfully considered a true battle classic, and rightfully deserves our attention. L'amore umano è solo parte del passato. L'amore umano è solo tanto fatto di carne. Spinti in un mondo finto, dove la scienza regna, il cuore batte ma il pensiero ci permette.